Okay, I think I am live. All right, I'm gonna share my latest thrifting haul with you guys. I kind of found some fun things. I, when I was getting this all together to share with you guys, I, I was like, well, I found a lot more than I thought I did. I really didn't think I have much to share, but I think it's kind of a bigger haul than what I have been sharing. I just got to take Hilly on a walk. It's like 71 degrees here in Iowa today. I hope it's nice where you are. But So she is conked out upstairs on the hardwood floors trying to cool off. It's cooler down here, but she wanted to stay up there. So there's that. Um, you'll see a couple of links up above in the description of this. I, I shouldn't, I should say when I get off, I think that's when you can see the links. Um, first of all, some of these items are going to be on my shop page and I linked to my shop page in the description and then something else that, um, we are going to try and do, uh, and put together after getting your guys's feedback. And I'll kind of explain that in the end. So remind me if I forget that, please remind me somebody that I need to go through that after this <laughs> after this haul so I remember to talk about that um so first of all uh this so green books I love to pick them up <clears throat> but uh I just did a podcast I just recorded a podcast that'll be coming out it hasn't come out yet but um so always here let me just always you know if they're covered you can always always look at what color the, the book actually is. Sometimes this will be like blue or red or white or whatever, but then I just pull it back and you'll find green books, whatever color books you you like. But somebody asked me, um, you know, how do I stop uh, picking up like all the things, right? So one of my things that, for me, I love vintage books, I love old books, but I've actually narrowed it down so much that it's gotta be the perfect book for me to pick it up. So. For me, it's green books. Uh, those are the only color that I will pick up for our home. Um, and I also love the smaller books. So if you can, I should have grabbed a regular size book, um, but these are small, my hands are small. So like this is a regular size or a small size book. Um, it's in good condition, good condition. So it's not like falling apart. And I found, I found a pair of them. Not that I have to find a pair. It has to be under a certain like price point and there was something else color, size, price, not falling apart. Maybe that was it. But if you kind of narrow yourself down to what you're picking up, then it doesn't become a hoarding situation and you make sure you're picking up things that you absolutely love. So I had to do that with books because I just, old books are just, I just love them. I love putting them in our home. But now that, you know, I'm only putting green ones out and I'm looking for smaller ones because they're, they just kind of take up less room and they're just, they can be perfect risers or whatever. But so anyway, I grabbed these two little books. I found another wood. Isn't this cool? I love small or bigger wood vases. And I found this one. Anybody know what kind of wood this is? It's really, really cool. So I grabbed that. Um, I will always pick these up. These are really cool to hang like at the back of a shelf uh, in the fall, I love to hang these up. So I'm kind of getting a small collection of these. And again, these, like they have to be the perfect, not the perfect ones, but the right ones to pick up before I will pick them up. So it makes it more exciting when you then find those things, when you're narrowing your search down. So it's like even more exciting when you find the things and then you're just not, you know, you don't have a ton of things that you're not really gonna use. And I get to buy now for the shop page too, which is super fun. So I do pick up extra items that I do love, but I don't have space for them because I can put them in the shop I, or in the shop. Um, this, you guys, I will always pick up old wood boxes. Uh, this one's a little guy. He's just a little, little guy. So I picked this guy up. Um, Copper and brass. This is a copper and brass uh, tray, a circular tray, perfect for fall. But sometimes I think some of these colors, like you could use this all year round, just add, change what's inside this. This is perfect for like a coffee table uh, tray. I love putting trays on coffee tables because then you can put different things in them. Okay, sorry if that was too loud. Those two things, um, Look at this guy. Again, brass uh, for fall and winter is perfect, but this could be out during spring as well. 
um, he's like a solid brass uh, little deer. I wish there, again, I wish there was a pair, but you don't always get that lucky. This thing, maybe you guys can help me with this thing. What is this thing? I left this together because I was gonna show you how I picked it up in the thrift store. This is how I, I mean, this goes, this goes all the way through. But you guys, I don't care what this thing is. I just want this. So it's a perfect base for like bottle brush trees at Christmas. You could stick a pen in this. You could stick scissors in this. It's a pretty good size. You could stick, you know, a marker in there or like your favorite pen on your desk. Look at this thing. I just, it's like the perfect patina. This piece, that's what I bought it for. It does say handmade Indonesia. So I don't know what, is this something you guys? I don't know what it would be. You guys can tell me what this thing is and it goes all the way through. It doesn't, wait a minute. I don't think it would go like that. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can let me know, but I don't, this, this is gone because I'm keeping it just for this. <laughs> okay. I found another little croc. These are so good. So I think this is, this is like a Roseville, Ohio. Is that pottery? You guys can tell me, RRP Company um, USA. So this is a crock, somebody had a plant in it, but I think somebody, uh, like a local company, found like old crocs like this and they made it into a candle. It, it wasn't, I just love small. This one's uh, really small. Uh, but yeah, you can use these for all kinds of things. I use them all over my house, all over my house. And they're really cool for plants too, if you have a green thumb. Me, not so much. I do not have a green thumb at all. Thank God Matt likes to do yard work and like, I can tell him like, oh, these flowers would be great or this is how it should be laid out. But it's that, my mom's really good at that stuff too. They get together, those two, and they'll walk around their yards for like hours and talk about different things. And I'm, Someday maybe I will get there, but I'm just not there. I found this little, I don't know, Tonka truck, red and green, perfect for Christmas. Uh, some of these things like, they, they will be in the shop, but like these things I will probably hang on to when it gets closer to, if they're more kind of specific to that, I will get, I will keep, um, I will keep them to it. Green metal boxes. So this one, I might do it, maybe I'll do it live. I wanna use the salve on here so I can show you guys what it does to metal. Again, green is my favorite color. We got to a point where Matt was picking up too many of these. I'm like, Matt, if you pick up another toolbox, I swear. But he would use them for different things. Like he would have, I'm gonna make this up because I don't know. He would have like plumbing in one, electrical in one, drill bits in one. That that's so wrong. But you know, he had different things in each one. Um, so it's not like he just had 75 of these in there, but whenever this green, again, these are great. Um, once you clean them up, um, you can, you can store all kinds of things. I have stored art supplies, like near our dining room table. I have stored, um, just different supplies like that. Uh, a toolbox, like actually, you know, your like kitchen toolbox that's got just like a little hammer and stuff in it. Uh, but they're also really cool with plants in them for spring and summer outside, if you don't care. Just kind of, when we have things like this that we don't care if it's gonna like rust out, we always use, um, is it Thompson's water seal? I know he does that on wood, so I don't know if it would soak into, I'm trying to open this, soak into metal, but yeah. So then we would drill holes in the bottom for it to drain. And then we would just have plants, you know, coming out of it, Matt would. Um, so they're great for all those kinds of things. But maybe I'll do that live this week and show you guys. Uh, I just, that salve is so amazing. I love it. I picked up some embroidery hoops. I have so many projects with these on my website at mycreativedays.com. These were the perfect size. I did not have this size. I do have um, smaller sizes. And so this was, I, I, I don't have this size. And I really wanted to um, do some wreaths with these, spring wreaths, and I wanted to use old maps. And I might have like in the whole purging process got rid of my old maps. 
so we'll just see. But then I found this. So this is what I mean when I say the book has to be in good condition. It can't be like this. The green books cannot be like falling apart like this. I won't pick them up anymore. But when I saw this, now it is kind of together. It's an old Peter Rabbit, right? Did, yeah. I don't know why that doesn't sound right. Is there another rabbit like Peter Rabbit that I'm thinking of um, that I keep getting him confused? When I say Peter Rabbit, I'm like, no, that's not it. It's something else. You guys will have to let me know. Anyway, some of these photos in here would be perfect. Some of them are smaller. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find like the bunny ones to make. Uh, you could totally do a wreath with these. You could frame these like the bunny ones and put them, you know, out for spring if you decorate for spring. But I was thinking, oh my goodness. So any of these bunny ones would be cute with the, uh, they're smaller, with the uh, small embroidery hoop uh, things that I have. But otherwise I was gonna put it in the um, shop as is, but I don't know. I, I thought it would be fun to do a project with it, but I don't know, we'll see. So I grabbed that. Who has Lazy Susans in their cabinets, on their kitchen tables? This wood one, this wood one, this wood on this, I it kind of just looks like an old farmhouse table to me. I don't know if you can, this is not gonna show it. Just kind of like the wear on it and the wood grain. Ah, these are so good to have, especially if you have room in your cabinets to put them. Uh, because you can, you know, put your, let's just say baking stuff or whatever on here and then just spin them around to find what you need. They're amazing for little kids when they're all at an art table uh, and you know, you've got your crayons, markers, scissors, glue, whatever it is on there. Um, you set up an activity on here. We're gonna glue these shapes, you know, onto this paper and then you just have everything here. Nobody's fighting because we're just gonna spin it and get what we need. Obviously on your kitchen table, you could decorate it with different things or you can make it functional on your kitchen table. So these, when I find them, I like to pick them up because uh, there's so many uses for them. Okay. There will probably be a couple other things that I don't share here on the shop page. I have shared these before and I think I sold one of these on my shop page. You guys. These paper cutters, these old paper cutters, look at the color. <laughs> okay, so obviously I understand there is a blade and if you have small kids, you're not gonna wanna set this on your coffee table or whatever. But these make great risers if you have a big enough shelf, just the way they are. Um, you can take the blade off. So I will show you. How will I show you? Can you guys see that? So there is a screw here, right? Yes. You can take the blade off so there's no blade still in it. It's amazing it still has the blade in there. Um, and then honestly use this as a tray on a coffee table or on you know, some other table. Uh, and then just take the blade out and then nobody will get hurt. I was just looking at, yeah. But like, I just love, I just love this old stuff. I just love it. So anyway, so I grabbed that as well. Is that everything? I think that's everything I have here. I'm gonna lift you guys. Okay, so what was your favorite item? Please let me know. I always like to see what your favorite item is. What can't you see? Okay, yeah, sorry. What, if, yeah, if you couldn't see an item, let me know. I feel like I can't see when I push it down that far. I can't answer your questions. Yeah, the Peter Rabbit book does. It, it's a cool, velvet, yes, that's it. Sonia, thank you so much, that's it. Um, yeah, it's just kind of the, you know, it's not together, so. Lisa, we would have Peter Cottontail, there's another one. See, I knew something wasn't right. <laughs> I'm like, this just doesn't sound right. Um, we would have the most fun. Peter Cottontail, thank you, you guys. Velveteen, yes. Okay, how do we get Abraham out of here? Okay, so we asked, I think it was last week, we asked you guys for kind of like a, 
if we were to do kind of like a thrifted decorating styled thrifted to style what you would want it to look like of course a community uh whatever and hands down a community was the um the number like the favorite thing across the board we did it through email on facebook on instagram Ooh, let me get through that and then i'm gonna go through these i won't get i won't get sidetracked Anyway, so we are, I put a link up above in the description. When I get off here, you will see it. Um, we want to know, we want to put you guys on a waiting list. So you guys, I take you thrifting with me. I show you my hauls, but actually putting it together like in your home and how to decorate with it, how to, what exactly to look for, for certain things, like, like breaking it down even more. I want to create a community around that because I think there's so many of us on here that like like and and want more ideas like that and it's something that I could do every day all day long. So, if that is sounds like something that you would be interested in, all you have to do is just get on the wait list. It's just a link in this description and you just have to get on a wait list because if there's not enough um, interest, I'm not gonna do it, right? Because I have a team behind me that would help me set it up. And if, if there's not enough interest, we're not gonna go through the whole thing. But I think it would be so amazing and so much fun. Like we can do more thrifting videos inside this group. Um, we can do more, like I just have so many ideas. I would bring the projects home. I would show you exactly how I would use them in my home, what I would do to make them over. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I'm excited about it. I don't want to get too excited about it because I want to make sure there's enough interest. What I'm paying for items, I get that question a lot. What I will pay and what I won't pay. Um, so that would be, that would be another thing I would do inside this community. Um, and I know what I pay and what you pay would be two different things, but I, I get a lot of questions about that. What do you pay? How much is too much? How much is too little? Or you, you, how much is too little? Is that a thing? Is it ever too little? <laughs> But you guys know what I mean. So there's just, I we have a ton of ideas. It's something, like I said, I could go to a thrift store and then show you exactly what to pick up and what not to pick up, bring it home, decorate with it, and show you how to put it in your home. Um, and that's how I started all this. That's how I started my creative days. I started it on getting the exact look you want for a lot less without breaking the bank. You, even if you have a million dollars, I think everybody should be... Um, save your money for vacations and other things that, that are really important and, um, you know, and save money on um, decorating and stuff your home. So if that sounds like a community you would be interested in, please get on the wait list uh, because I'm super excited. And if you, if this kind of goes through and you're in there, I want you guys to tell me too, what are other things that you wish I did more of or like I dived, dived? I go deeper with, or, you know, like it, you, you know, like how much I'm paying. I'm trying to think of the other things I get. How do I use this in my home? What do I pick up? And if I pick that up, then where do, where do I put it? What does it look like in my home? And so I want to kind of take you through that entire process instead of just the thrifting. And I can do, you know, more thrifting trips too inside the store because I would need to, I would kind of uh, need to kind of show you prices and, and those kinds of things and where I'm finding it and how to find it. Uh, but then I would just do that all exclusively, exclusively in that community. So let me know and let me explain a little bit more. So it's, I love the My Creative Days community across the board, TikTok, my, or Facebook, Instagram, the email list, the website, Pinterest, like there's a different community kind of on each one. And so I, I'm not, I'm trying to do content on all of these different platforms. And so, uh, for everybody. But yet when I, I provide these other little things that are kind of niche down to that specific, this is what we're going to do inside this group, then you, you can join those specific things if you want to dive deeper. Do you know what I'm saying? So just kind of, then we have like a direction and we keep our blinders on and this is what we do inside this community, if that makes sense. So like I, I started a community for furniture flippers and that's what we do because I had a lot of interest in that. But I know it's not everybody, but anyway, I think this could be super fun. Like I've told you before, I think it would be amazing to have a thrifting show and you go thrifting across the U.S. and, and find all the things and, and then share what I would do with them and how to all those things. I think that would be so much fun. And this is something kind of, it would just be amazing to have a community of like that and where I'm doing it more often 
and more in depth with this kind of stuff. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please sign up in the link in the description. When I get off here, you should see it. A lot of brass animals from my mother's collection. You know, my mom used to have brass stuff. It's so funny because when I pick something up, she'll be like, we have that in our house. Or I'll see something, you know, at a thrift store and I'm like, I swear, I swear we had that in our house. And brass was one of them that my mom had a lot of. Janet, it will be in the shop page on Wednesday. Um, hello, Teresa in Texas. Yeah, this wood vase, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, that will be in the shop on Wednesday as well. Okay, I just, I always like to, thank you, Joan. I always like to kind of go through all of the, sorry, you guys, I just, this is easier if I kind of lift it up. There's nothing down here. If there's something you guys want to see more of, or like if I, you weren't able to see it, um, let me know and I'll lift it up and show you. I thought I was Judith. So as soon as I get off of here, um, in the description of this live, you will see a link. Um, and I think it, I called it thrifted to styled community. Um, and then just click that link and then you'll just put your information in and then you'll be on the list. Janet, that's something we're going to um, talk about. We need to see if there is enough interest first. I could have the book repaired, but it's not, um, does it have a date? But I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't invest that money into it. Um, our kids are grown and 1977 is the copyright. And I may put it in the shop page as well on Wednesday. Oh, Kim. So Kim, okay, she just said she just got on the list. So you can you... So you can see my links when I'm live. That's good to know. <laughs> I just want to know if you can see them. Because forever, I think, unless they changed it, you couldn't until I got off. Sprinkle, thank you so much. When you guys share when I'm live, when you share that, that helps. That's what sprinkled means because you're not supposed to say shared. Um, that just helps so much. Thank you so, so much. Melindia, is that your name? That is so pretty. I could be... Melindia, I could be saying that so wrong, but it's so pretty. Wooden, yes, wooden props. I love thrift thrifting and using things in different ways. I do too, because then your house doesn't look like everybody else's, right? It just got so much charm and character. It's like my favorite thing. After you're live, you can delete and report them. Otherwise we'll ignore them. Yes, Janet, thank you. I just thought there was a way to get rid of them while I was live. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's 1977. Beatrix Potter book. Don't cut it up. Is that, oh, yes, it is. It might just go on the shop page because I'm looking at the things that I, I thought I wanted to do. And it's not, um, it's not, it's not what I thought. I can't, I won't go through it again. The wooden vase was your favorite, Dorothy. So pretty. I love these and I have, I have a few of them and they look to have a collection of them. Uh, it's, it, they're so pretty together and you don't even have to put anything in them. They're just, they're just like, they make a statement on their own. The copper tray, green paper cutter. Don't you love that? The lazy Susan. I love seeing what your favorite things are. An old paper cutter. Yes. I have two of them and use them all the time. They work great. Are you talking about the paper cutter? Yeah. Paper cutter. Yes. Okay. Were the prices good? Yeah, they were. I, I definitely have a budget for certain um, for certain items. I think I got through all those. I definitely have a budget for everything I'm picking up. Um, and just like a lot of you, I hear a lot of you, our thrift price, thrift stores are going up as well. Um, yes, they're going up as well. So it's definitely, yeah, yard sale season cannot come soon enough. I'm excited for that. I just hope they're back to normal here. So somebody said, maybe this is a yarn thing. Maybe, because if you have it on a flat surface to hold your yarn, you know, this will obviously wouldn't go all the way down. So maybe it is. I don't know. Barnwood box. Be, don't you love the boxes? Because they're like, uh, 
All doll collectors love doll props. Do I have a doll prop here? I don't know. Did, did I have a doll prop? Yes, so Lynette, some people are telling me right now they can see the link to join the waiting list. Um, so they can see it right now while I'm live. If not, when I get off, it will be in the description of the of this video. So you will definitely see it in there. I don't know if any of you, can any of you drop the link, get the link and drop it in the comments for people? Um, I will say on for Brass Deer was your favorite. Um, thank you, Patty. You never know what I'm going to get on in. You can, you can do it yourself. It, get rid of the guy. I haven't seen him on here since. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Carol. Okay. So that they were in business from early 1900 to 2006. That's awesome. So that's the crock that I found. Um, okay. Okay, Linda, you can see it right now. So I think you can see it right now. The bottom of item that's questionable could be an unfinished feather. Oh. Oh, because the bottom, it does look like an ink well. I honestly, when I found it, it was taped. They had it taped here. So when I lifted it out, I was expecting to see, I'm like, is it a pen or something? That's exactly what I, that's what I thought it was going to be. But yes, Lisa Williams, can you see the crock? Oops. It's just this little crock. And it has this down here, but you're seeing a lot of, um, candle companies that are making candles and they're they're finding old crocks and just vintage pottery and things to put their candles in so it's got this here and then this was this is like a candle like don't burn it don't something never leave burning candle unattended and rain was the scent but this is like the old crock for it yes if there's anything else you want to see let me know Oh my gosh, Patty. Thank you for the hint about the camera feature on the Google app. Are you hooked? It's so cool. Actually, that video is on my Facebook page right now. So if you guys want to, it was like a couple days ago, was it? I don't know if that's where you found it, but that thing is a game changer. You guys will have that out if you're thrifting, if you're at yard sales, if you're at somebody's house and you don't want to ask them where they got something, use it. <laughs> use it. It's like, it's the most amazing thing ever. That's like now that on my phone and like the Amazon app or, you know, they're like, I use them all the time. I use them all the time. Hello, Tabitha. You got to love those algorithms. I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. And I've been doing lives. The algorithms are just so much fun. Oh, just, okay, so Kim's telling you guys how to find it. Just tap on the top of your page and it comes up with the link. Click there and it takes you to sign up. Easy peasy. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, Patty went all over your house. I did too. I'm like, what? Okay, so that I'm just clicking everything all around my house. That is so funny. So <clears throat> it's just your regular, it's the Google app, but then you're gonna use the search, the camera search thing. I did two videos on it. Um, maybe I, what I will do when I get off here is I will find the link to those videos and I'll put them in the comments here. You guys, you will be, it's like a, you, <laughs> you will wonder where this has been all your life. I'm not even kidding. Yes, Dorothy. Yes. You have to use this app. I'm talking about. Is there an app that helps identified items free? Yes, like this is what you need. Like it'll come up. Um, Crocs are so good just for so many things. I love them for so, I have too many. Uh, but yes, I love them too. Yes, so I will leave a link to my video because I kind of show you how it works. I say, you know, like click here. I'm somebody, especially with tech stuff. I'm like exactly show me what button to push. 
then wh what to push next. Like I need to see, see it in action. And so that video, I take you actually, I, I just record my screen on my phone and show you actually what to do. So I will leave that in. Um, thank you so much, Carmen. You're the best. Thank you. Um, so yeah. And I would love to hear if you guys use the app, if you guys use that app that in that thing and tell me what you like found out or it would be amazing if one of us, you know, we were in our house and we just use that app and you find out you have like a million dollar, I don't know, picture hanging in your living room or something. Uh, it's so fun. I went to a hoarder house sale last summer and she had wonderful taste. Those are the, those are the best sales ever. But do you guys want to know? I have to tell you this. So whenever I'm at those sales, <laughs> does anybody else like, like you're so excited, your anxiety, and you just like literally want to block everybody else out so then you can just look quick without being stressed out that you, like, listen, you know it's really good. Like you can tell. You can tell when you hit those sales, but now you want nobody else there so you can like, like take your time and look through things. It's like stressful and yet exciting all at the same time. I... <laughs> Anybody else like that or is that just me? Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Ooh, yes, and you know, whenever I say, what's your favorite thing? I'll get the message, like only one thing? Can I only pick one? No, pick five. I wouldn't be able to pick just one either. From this week, I would probably have to say that this is my favorite um, find. Um, I did find a purple glass bottle and I picked it up because it looked old. And when we were, uh, we love to go to Lake Michigan in the summer and we look for sea glass and a lady that we met there last year, she was telling us about purple glass and how it's so much older and it's so much harder to find. And then I found this bottle and I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, I found that. I found another little vintage squirrel planter that would be good for fall. Um, but yeah, so I think this is my favorite find of Rhonda, so I love this too because this just, guys, just teaches, it just helps you see how this works and the goofy algorithm did not tell me you were live until you had been live for a while. You were showing the croc for the first time. Um, yeah, and I don't even think that, what was that, like the fourth or fifth item that I showed? So I don't know. I mean, I can, if there's something else, let me know that you want to see. Um, so that's how the algorithm works and it's hard to reach everybody on all these platforms because I don't own it. But the one thing you can do because somebody's, message me. The only thing you can do is when you share my content, when you like, comment, when you interact and engage on it, that's the that's the best thing you can do. So um that's just uh, it's it's frustrating. It's like the but I love the community, right? But I want to be able to reach all of you with 200 and I don't even know 10,000 people on here, the algorithm will show my things to like 6% of you. Any of it, if it's a post, if it's a live, if it's a, um, a video, uh, I don't know, a poll, a question, any of those, it's like, it's it's not good. It's like really, really low. So I just started using the app and you guys are that way too. Okay, good. So it's not, see, I used the Google app and found that a 75 cent knife in 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 a book or in the book was $69. Yes. I know, very over, it is overwhelming. Like you're so excited to be at that sale and you want all the great things, but you just, you need time. You just need to, time to process the amazingness and then you can get to shopping, but everybody else watch out. <laughs> just let me have at it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Janet. That helps so much. I hear that a lot, Lisa. Um, you have the best thrift stores. And there are so many times that I go and I pick up nothing. And I always love to, if we can, when we are, you know, we're on vacation or we're like out of town, I always love to pop into thrift stores if we see them or um, if we're near some and have time because I like to see what other people's thrift stores are because I hear that all the time. Our thrift stores are nothing like yours are. Um, that's why I think we all just need to get in a big old van with a with a trailer on the back and just go across the country. I think it would be so much fun. Grateful for, yes, Patty, there is replay. So you definitely can see, um, 
you definitely can get the replay because I don't, there is a, an option that I can delete these videos when they're done or something, but I just leave them all on my page because we all have lives and we're not always here live. What state? I am in Iowa. Oh, Tabitha, you were late. Sorry. Um, yes. Yeah, so when I get off here, you'll be able to watch the whole thing. Wish I did more. So Lisa, I love, like all feedback is so good. I enjoy watching your content. Wish I did more. More of what? More lives, more thrifting, more furniture projects, more DIY. There's so much that I share um, and love to do. So what, what do you wish I did more of? And those are the kinds of things, like that's why I want to build these communities and, and I can dive deeper with certain things. Oh, Linda, thank you. Listen to your podcast today. Such good stuff. It's it's kind of fun. It's kind of a different way for me to share content and me to like just talk through, um, just talk through all the things. And today I was talking about how to um, shop yard sales efficiently, effectively, and because it's it's coming. Yard sales are coming around here, so I'm super excited about it. So that's what I was talking about on the podcast today. Podcast is launched. A new one every Monday, um, so you can get it wherever you get your podcast. So I, there, it's so fun. I like how you described how to get things on your phone. Oldie but a goodie here in Tech Challenge. You don't even have to be the older generation to be Tech Challenge. I don't get a lot of it. Oh my gosh, we were on a team meeting this morning, and oh my gosh, I was like, I don't know how I did that like Google Drive and who set that up. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. This is how I do it. I know I'm doing it wrong, but this is all I know. So Michigan, we love to go there. We go to Lake Michigan every summer. Um, oh my gosh, what part of Michigan? We actually would love to find a place there someday, but we were on a vacation in New Hampshire. It happened to be the anniversary of the passing of my dad who was born in 1920 in Lowell, Mass. Well, Going through an antique store, I found a bottle that said Lowell Mass Angel. I couldn't believe it. That has actually happened to Matt and I too. We uh, we were in an, like this new store that kind of popped up in a small town near us. And I can't remember what it was. Was it a, I can't remember if we found a yearbook or just photos of, I, I can't remember if it was his dad or his uncle or something like that. And I'm like, what are the odds? It's a different town than where that was and where than where we live that but it was an old we bought it for them, which was kind of cool, but yeah, you just never know what you're gonna find. You really prepare to hit the garage sales. Oh yeah, you need to. You need to. They've just been so disappointing since everything, you know, in the last couple of years. So um yes, and if someone comments on replay, it bumps it up for others to see, right? I think so, Patty, if everything's working the way it should, but I can't guarantee that, and they always change things. Are you kidding, Pam? Charleston, South Carolina? I, that's the one place, one of the places I want to go, like ASAP, and I would think they would have the best thrifts. I'm sure your antique stores are unbelievable, but there's just so much history there. I just thought like the thrift stores there would be amazing. That would be like first on my road trip. I would just love to go there around there. More everything, love your style. Okay, thank you. If you if there's something specific that you would like to see more of, that helps. So just let me know. Um, I love the, the thrifting videos. Yeah, and see, that's why I want to build a community where I can spend a lot more time doing that and um, taking you to different thrift stores and just, you know, um, so yeah, so like I said, if there's not enough interest, it's something we won't do, but I think we're all on the same page across the board with My Creative Days, the communities here. Um, so I think there should be enough. Linda, you, I honestly feel like that way when I come on live here, when I'm talking on the podcast, when I'm on Instagram or on stories, I honestly feel like this community, it's like a community of friends. Like that's what I love about it. I just wish we didn't have to fight the algorithm. And so we're trying to come up with other ways to like reach you guys and dive deeper with you guys so we're not fighting an algorithm and putting it on the, the platforms and the pages that we don't own. Go Cyclones. Janet, are you? So, okay, March Madness. I love March Madness because the games are always so good. And Cyclones, we're huge Iowa State fans. And so the boys and the girls are in the Sweet 16. It's so fun. They won 
yesterday. So my whole bracket is a mess because there've been so many upsets and like, who are you kidding day one? But Matt, as long as the Cyclones are winning, it's a good day. It's a good day. Oh yeah. Rhonda, I love going thrifting with you. Your excitement is evident when you find a treasure. It's probably too evident. I'm like, I get so excited. Um, it's the thrill of the hunt always will be. So I am more than happy to walk out of a store with nothing. I, yeah, I can just kind of zone out when I'm there. It's kind of like when I'm painting furniture or doing a DIY project. It's just a way for me to zone out and not be working or on a computer or, you know, my phone. It's, it's so much fun. Rachel, thank you so much. Okay. Traverse City, we have not, I think that's a lot further up. Um, oh my gosh, you're going to Maine. That's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Are you kidding? My mother's silver charm bracelet full of charms was stolen and I found the separate charms in an antique store. Hers were unique and I'm sure they were hers. Well, you were meant to find those again. That what that's amazing. That's a great story. Yeah, I find goodwill very high in marking dollar store items. It's so funny when I find because there's a lot of um new new items in thrift stores or whatever, and I'll pick it up and like you know it came from like the top ta target dollar section. And if it's a $3 item, they'll be asking $5 or $6. And so I always just say, well, I'll just go to Target and get it. it it's, they're cheaper there. But yeah, totally. They totally do that. Yes, Linda. That's what I love about it. Yes. They are filled with um, so many items. Antique stores. Yes. Yes. The estate sales. You get to go in their homes and see the home. Yes. <laughs> I love that too, because we love to flip homes. And so, and I mean, yes, looking at homes, I could do it all the time too. So if you go inside in an estate sale, you get to look at the homes. Yes. Of repurposing items. Yeah, I, th that, those are some of my favorite DIY projects. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I think I got through everybody. It's kind of fun when you guys are engaging back and forth and it's not just me talking at you. So that's super fun. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for everybody that shared the video, shared the live. That's that's awesome. That's like my, thank you so much. That's like the best. Um, so if you're watching this on replay, uh, let me know you were here. If you have any questions, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but if you, if that community sounds like something you'd be interested in, please get on the waiting list because like I said, we're just testing the waters here. Um, and then how we move forward will be based on your feedback and your input about the community and how you would want it shaped and all those things and what you would want me to do inside and all that. So definitely get on the list. Um, it's in the description. The link is in the, the description. Some of these items that I shared today will be on my shop page on Wednesday at noon central time. Um, and I left the link for the shop page in the description as well. Is that everything? I think that's everything. And if you have any questions, just let me know. If you're on replay or you think of something la later, let me know. Um, me too, Patty, it's so fun. It's like, honestly, a group of friends coming together and just chit chatting. So it's super, it's so fun for me. So, okay guys, uh, have a great Monday and I will maybe hop on, maybe I'll hop on live uh, this later this week or maybe tomorrow, I don't know yet, and show the salve on this piece and, and do some other things. Oh, in Ohio, we came up to a yard full of Crocs for sale. Two dollars each. You found that? Yeah, that's amazing. Um, that's amazing. Two dollars each. You hit the like the jackpot there. Okay, guys, have a great day.